Hulk smash! Wait, please, no, no! Nice. Bruh, bump it. Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
going down the feet. His feet are sculpted very well. He's got his little uh, toenails. Everything's on there. Um, they just did a good job with the muscle work and the feet. Uh, just and they hide a lot of the joints uh, with the figure, which is nice. Again, you don't necessarily see that a lot with action figures today. And then looking at the bottom, he's even got uh, sculpt work on the feet themselves. Again, that's just something you don't see in today's figures a lot. For comparison, here we have the Gamma Glow Punching Hulk next to the Abomination from the same line. And uh, the Abomination is a bigger figure, which is very, very cool. I do appreciate that. Um, it makes it look like a, a, a bigger battle. And I think he was bigger in the movie, so it should scale appropriate, which is very nice, very cool. Um, I, this is the only Abomination figure I actually have in my collection at the moment. Um, so this Hulk will look nice sitting up on the shelf. I'll probably put him in the back to kind of, uh, you know, low key him, I guess. And I may raise him up a little bit on a block or something, or maybe have him flying through the air. I don't know, but they definitely look cool sitting side by side. So is the 2008 Incredible Hulk's glow in the dark Gamma Hulk something that you want in your toy collection? Well. If you're an Incredible Hulk completist, this might be something that you pick up. If you liked the old movie figures, this would be something you'd like. If you like to get exclusive figures, it is a Target exclusive. Uh, again, I didn't know that until I got it home. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Uh, it does have a glow-in-the-dark gimmick, which is cool. Um, it does have a punching gimmick. Again, I like that. So there's some playability to the toy, and it's held up pretty well over the years. Uh, the face sculpt is kind of eh. It's, it's not bad, but it's not the best. I think the biggest downfall to the figure is the size scale. If it was about an inch bigger, it'd be a lot better. Oh, that's what she said. So there it is, the Gamma Glow Target Exclusive Hulk from 2008's Incredible Hulk. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.